Every week, it's my goal to share financial information that helps you in both your life and financial vineyard. We hope to take you from your roots to the journey of your vines and the influences in the air that have helped craft your delicious life. Like wine, life and finances have different palettes that should be celebrated and not judged. Welcome to this edition of Wine and Dime with Amy Irvine. This edition is sponsored by Rooted Planning Group, a fee-only financial planning firm. Our goal is to help you control your financial habits so that you get what you want from your money and have a little fun while doing it. This week in our wine spotlight, we'd like to introduce you to Hector Winery. Hector Wines Company is located on Seneca Lake in New York, and they have a unique blend called Soul Red. It's their house style dry red. It's a blend of Syrah, Chancellor, Lemberger, Cab Sauvignon, Cab Franc, and Merlot. That's right. Take all the reds and shake it up in a bottle. And this is a really nice, complex wine. Great for these autumn temperatures as it gets cooler in the north and a little bit cooler in the south as well. We hope you enjoy our recommendation of the wine and getting into talking about setting yourself up for success in 2022 by reviewing your 2021 goals. Hey everyone, Amy Irvine here, founder of Rooted Planning Group once again, and today we are gonna be talking about some last minute tangoing with your goals. Now, you've probably taken the time to get prepared and reviewed your tax projections already by the time you're listening to this. So let's finish strong within the rest of this year. We're going to look at all of those uh, goals that you set early in this year and just see if we're on track. So let's dig out those goals that you set at the beginning of the year. Um, We're going to keep this class or this uh, podcast put it pretty short because we know we're entering a really busy holiday season. Well, the main focus in the um, earlier this month was on taxes. We don't want to miss out on the opportunity to prepare you for year end with some of those other goals. The holiday season tends to throw people off their track. We all get distracted. Less time So, you know, available, more eating out, family and friends celebrations, higher food costs, higher alcohol budgets, guilty, Uh, more data used on phones, a temptation to buy the new holiday gadget, um, you know, all of that sort of stuff is, um, I guess, in the forefront of our minds as we head into this holiday season. But we want you to finish this year strong and get what you really want from your money without getting distracted by some of those things. It's fine to do them. Let's just set a particular limit on how much we're going to spend so that we can achieve all those other goals. One of the ways that you can help yourself finish the year strong is to do a check-in with yourself right now. Are you on track or do you have to make some adjustments? Are you living within your budget? Are you on track for your yearly savings plan or debt reduction? Have those milestones been met? Are you doing, are you doing great with keeping up with the financial tasks? Have you made it through all of the tasks this year? Is there a a particular podcast or class or something like that that you need to go back and finish those things up? Are you tracking your cash flow? Are you keeping up with paperwork? Now, remember, when I say ca- tracking cash flow, we may have rec- created a reverse budget for you. So it means that you're just spending within that reverse budget number. Take just 10 minutes to figure out what's most important to you this year and if you're really on track for your goals. Frequently, it's this time that we need to put our money really to work and where we can get carried away with some of our spendings. What is it that you need to do so that your year end goals come to fruition and you can be excited about how your money worked hard for you this year? Now, if you are on track, that's okay. Let's see if we can get, get you there within the next couple weeks before the holiday rush. We strongly urge you to review your goals before entering the holiday rush. I know I've said that like four times at this point in time, but I really want you to take a moment to do that. If you're behind, put the most critical tasks on top and just spend a few minutes on a weekend or a weeknight to get this 
um, particular test done. Grab your favorite beverage, whether it's a glass of wine, a beer, a cup of tea, whatever it is, and just dig into this. Make also a realistic holiday budget plan and get the family involved so that everybody gets what they want from the holiday. Now, we have a, a in the show notes and in the, the um, documents, we have a great uh, tool that is about t- taming the holiday budget. And that can get you some ideas on how you might be able to, to really define how you want to spend your money this year. Consider uh, taking a vacation from everything and an extra, you know, um, consider taking a spending vacation from everything but the holiday extra spending. (laughs) Cash in your points from banking, credit cards, reduce your expenses, look for coupons before you go buy. Don't get caught on Black Friday temptations to save 30%, but put it on a credit card that's 20% and something you won't pay off for two years. Saving up for that item in advance generally will let you get the price that you want that's reduced and make you appreciate it even more. Bottom line is don't let the holiday madness derail you from getting what you really want. So here's your action plan for the month, right? So this is what you have to do for the rest of October and November. You want to take a look at those goals that you set early on in this year. Are you on are, are you on target for those? We also want you to project your taxes so or get them projected. Even if you don't want to do it, get them projected. Review the potential tax steps for the year end. Are there any changes that you should be making? Are you over withholding? Are you under withholding? And if you're over withholding, could you reduce your withholding so that you could put that money towards other goals? Don't forget to look down through that tax saving strategies and implement anything that you know will be advantage to you. Review the goals and wrap the credit cards around them. That's one of the things this time of year we suggest to a lot of people. Before you spend, you'd have to unwrap that credit card and you'll be reminded of your goals. And make sure you catch up on any financial tasks before the holiday rush, because once it starts, it it's going to get crazy. And finally, create that holiday budget plan. Use the tool that we've provided so that you can actually put together your own spending plan for the year. We hope you've enjoyed this podcast. We'd love to hear from you on any topic you'd like to hear about. Please feel free to share this with your friends, like us on iTunes, visit us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. Also, visit us at www.rootedpg.com. And don't forget, we'd love to hear from you. And that will about do it for today's episode of Wine and Dime. You can contact Amy through the website, www.rootedpg.com or amy at rootedpg.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at rootedpg for the latest news. And if you have any questions, comments, or topics you would like to hear about, feel free to let us know. And don't forget to rate and subscribe the show wherever you get your podcasts. And again, thank you for listening and be sure to tune in next time.